whoops so today we're going to take a look at gathering trends oil head barber tony i think that's the name it has a very long name it's from a toy company called yuan Xingxi. i'll put it here down below here <laughs> i can't really say that so this was a pandemic pre-order that came by uh, what I mean by that was during the pandemic, I was just pre-ordering a whole bunch of shit. So this is one of them. Um, this is a pretty interesting one. I think this is their first release of a 1-6 scale figure. They did do like these weird head sculpts here and other accessory sets. But other than that, I don't think they've ever done a 1-6 scale figure. So I think this is their first attempt. And yeah, I like the promo pics they had and what really captivated me about this figure was the head sculpt of one of the alternate heads which i'll show you later now if there is some sort of backstory or reasoning behind this figure it's all in chinese so i can't really help you so if anybody knows the full story about this particular figure please let me know and that's about it that's all i know about this figure so that being said let's take a look at him And here's Barber Oilhead Tony or Oilhead Tony Barber, whatever. <laughs> it has a very weird name. And as you can see, he does have like this weird hipstery look to him. And he is pretty interesting, especially his head sculpt, which is made out of different materials. It's like mixed media, which is very, very interesting, especially his tattoos and stuff like that. That's been printed on his hands and stuff like that. So yeah, let's take a closer look at him. And here's a closer look at oil head barber Tony and yeah he's a pretty interesting figure honestly it's I mean he has a bunch lot of accessories which you could basically load him up but this is his plain Jane look for now and you can see all the tattoos and stuff the only I have some gripes about this figure which is it's pretty nitpicky and you know it's their first one six scale so I, I guess I'll forgive them but there's some elements to this figure I find a bit annoying but yeah this is him this is the first I'm gonna say first release of the Yuan Chin Si <laughs> figure the, the reason why I think it's the first release because it's um, ID code or the how do you say the figure code it's 001 so uh, I guess that means this is the first release so yeah, with that being said, let's take a look at what Tony comes with. Apron, spray bottle, hair dryer, comb, scissors, razor blade, clipper, glasses, bracelet, another bracelet, and another bracelet, and another bracelet, necklace, extra head sculpt, hand, 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 hand. And this is the stuff Tony comes with, and it is a lot of accessories, honestly. For a first release from this company, it's kind of impressive that they were able to give a lot of accessories for this guy. So first up, let's take a look at his um, barbershop apron. So yeah, as you can see, this is pleather. I don't know the quality of the pleather they use, so I don't know how long this may last in terms of durability, so be sure to take care of it, I guess. <laughs> because again, it depends on the quality of what pleather they use. So this might or may not uh, deteriorate over time. But you know, each pocket has its function. You could slit stuff in if you want, his accessories, his scissors and stuff, his razor blades and whatnot. And yeah, um, it doesn't really buckle onto him. You could basically put this over the figure and he's good to go. So you don't really have to unbuckle this buckle here. And it does have like this weird number thing, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, this is his um, apron, which is, you know, pretty, pretty cool. I don't think I have a figure that has an apron, but there you go. I have one now. Doot, doot, doot. Uh, next up, we have his um, sprayer bottle, which is a kind of a Jack Daniels type design, but it says Jack Daniels. And it does have some graphics with his instruments, I guess. I guess it's just filler graphics, I guess. And you have the the toy company's logo of this figure at the back. And this is it. It doesn't really articulate at the top, so don't try it. You might break it. But yeah, this is pretty cool. 
It's a spray bottle from a whiskey bottle. Do, do, do. Next up, we have his hair dryer thing. Uh, it is detailed. It has Tony, the company name, and barbershop dials here, all that. It's pretty nicely made. It has a little weathering as well, if you can't see it. There's like some brown tinge to it to make it look a bit more weathered so it's not so flat. But yeah, this is how it looks. The Tony blue dryer, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no wire like extension, so it's just on its own. Uh, next up, we have his clippers. I think these are called clippers, motorized clippers. I don't know what this is called. I'm just gonna call it clippers. And yeah, so this is, you could see there's some the detail there, the barber company name, I guess. Yeah, this is okay. It's not really weathered. It's kind of a blank. I mean, in terms of weathering, it's kind of non-existent. But the details there, I mean, sculpt-wise, it's nicely done. It even has like sculpted screws. Oh, the camera's getting it. But yeah, this is the the clipper he has. Uh, next up, we have his dog comb. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty, the teeth are pretty wide, so it kind of looks like a dog comb. But it's kind of a, it's a piece of plastic that's molded into a comb, so there's nothing really to... No, there's nothing more to talk about, so that's a comb. Uh, da, da, da. And then we have his glasses here. Uh, his glasses, unfortunately, doesn't have any lenses. It's kind of a missed opportunity there. But yeah, it is a bit, it's flexible, so you don't have to worry about it snapping. So he does have that. I mean, this reminds me of like, you know, the early 2000s where you have kids wearing these glasses without lenses. You guys remember those times? Just fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, then we have his, um, his razor blade. Uh, yeah, and there's no weathering, but there is some paint detail here and all that. It does articulate to have it closed as well. So yeah, it kind of resembles Sweeney Todd's razor blades. Yeah, this is his, um, his razor blades. Do, do, do. Kind of fragile too. Next up, we have his scissors. His scissors does articulate, but again, be careful because these are very, very thin pieces of plastic. So don't overexert it. But yeah, it does open and close, and he does have scissors, which is cool. Now you can pose these scissors with one of his. Um, that hand over there, but I'll show you that later. Then you have his um, jewelry accessories, I guess. You have his um, weird tassel here with some Native American type, uh, I guess, <laughs> imagery, I guess. So you have that, and it does loop around his neck very nicely. So you have his tassels here. Then you have four bracelets. Um, these two are basically pleather material and they just wrap around his wrists. This helps in covering up the pegs he has. I like it when figures have bracelets or some accessories like that to cover the pegs. And you do have some uh, metal. It's not really metal, but it's supposed to look like metal. Um, unfortunately, this, this one here is supposed to be gold, but it's silver. So I kind of got gypped there. Like if you check the promo pics for this guy, this is supposed to be gold. And yeah, th these are the two chain bracelets he has. Do, do, do. Ooh, it's got some stuff. So moving on, where are we? Okay, this is what sold me on this figure, this head. It has a very Tim Burton-esque Jack Skeleton look. I just, I don't know, I, I really like this head sculpt. Especially when you have it full set with his body, it looks really cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. This is what I like about this figure base. This is what sold me on this figure, this head sculpt. So yeah, you can see like it's like chopped up here. Again, I don't know the story about this figure. I don't know why he has this head. So if anybody knows, let me know. Speaking of head sculpts, let's take a look at his head, the, the original. Now his head sculpt is pretty unique because it has like mixed media stuff. Like this is like felt, I guess, felt type material. Also his hair. 
Now, I did, I do have some experience with this type of material, and it does, if you're not careful in terms of storage, this will get moldy over time, especially if you live in a tropical country like me. So be sure to check on these things now and then. But you can see this is all felt, so it's kind of weird. First time for me to have a figure that has this material. But this is his head sculpt. He does have some tattoos here. Can't really read it. It says live love or something. Uh, it does have some damage here. Again, since it's a first time third party, one six scale, it might suffer from some wear and tear. Has cursed there, very cringy um, <laughs> tattoos. Has some eye, eye type earrings. So yeah, this is um, Tony's head. Does have some piercings on it. So he has a very, um, how do you say, uh, what's hipster-ish vibe going on with this guy? Uh, I guess I'll put it here. Oh, stay there. Please don't move. Then after that, we have all his um, hands. So this is his, I guess, gripping hand or come here, come hither hand. Now these hands do have some really nice detail. A Tony Poe. I don't know. I, I tried to read these things. I don't really know. P O H A, right? Poha? I don't know. But it says Tony on the top. So that's his first hand. Do, do, do. Now, the second set of hands, especially this one, this one's mostly for the scissors. As you can see, it's kind of molded to hold the scissors. Uh, the graphics are maintained throughout, same, how do you say, same uh, design. Uh, I think this one is basically just for holding something. So he does have a lot of um, detail going on for him, in terms of like, tattoos and stuff. Which is interesting, I don't think I have a tattoo-esque figure in my collection. And this is basically uh, the grippy hands, I guess. You could do it like that. What does it say? Tony Po Rich? What does this mean? Poha. Am I not reading it right? Am I illiterate in this review? Uh, there you go. Don't really know what this says. If anybody knows, let me know. Because these other, or the print is off. I don't know. There you go. This is what Tony comes with. Now he does come with one other thing, but I have to change the camera angle, so bear with me. So another thing Tony comes with is this um, this poster. So it has oil head Barbara Tony, and yeah, uh, it didn't come like this. All this torn up shit is because of my cat. She decided to play with this for a while, so yeah, it's pretty messed up. But yeah. Unfortunately for me, I don't really like this. It's a product picture of the figure. I wish it was like some form of illustration or, you know, an artist rendering of the figure. That would be cooler instead of just a picture of the figure, which I already have. Uh, if you haven't noticed, he has a ring here. This figure does not come with a ring, so yeah. I don't know why they put that ring there, but it doesn't, it does not come with the ring. I checked and it doesn't come with it. So yeah, that sucks. But yeah, it does come with this, um, this high gloss paper of the figure. Hmm. So with that being said, uh, let's load Tony up with all this shit. And here's Oilhead Tony all loaded up with his accessories. Now the only accessory I couldn't really put on him was the clippers, but overall he looks pretty stinking cool. Uh, pretty unique from the other stuff I usually collect. It's it's a nice breakaway, honestly. Um, I do have some gripes about this figure. First off, the body is one of those um, cheap third-party bodies. It's plasticky, it's very loose. That's one of the drawbacks for this figure so he is a bit loosey-goosey in the leg area uh, the material for his head I know I said it's pretty interesting but after fiddling with it for a while his mustache it's if you catch that on something or if you I don't know if you drop whatever 
it will get ripped off. It's I felt it. It almost ripped off for me when I put on these tassels. So be careful with that. Um, I think moving forward, I don't think they should use these materials for, at least for the mustache part, because that's a very, very, um, how do you say, breakable piece of uh, cloth. I don't know what this is called, but it is very breakable. But overall, I like it. I like this guy. He's uh, he's unique, you know. He's like one of those figures that stands out from the rest. Um, but this is his alternate head, so let's do a close-up and replace his head with the one I really like. And here's a closer look at Oilhead Tony. So that mustache is very problematic for me, but as long as you're careful, it'll hopefully stay on. His hair as well is a cause for concern for me since I live in a humid country. I don't know if mold would get to it but I don't think it will. I tend to take care of my figures, but I don't know. It's one of those materials where it will get something if it's not taken care of. So this is his face. His glasses go on him very well. So you have the tassels, his apron, and how I slotted these things in. It was okay, but again, please be careful when you're slotting these things in. I had bad experiences when I did this before with other figures that had pleather type holsters. They just snap open. And there is his shoes, his jeans, and yeah, that's about it really. He's gripping the thing very well. And he does have some tattoos on his arm, but as you can see, his hands and his arms are, just, are different tones, which sucks. He does have tattoos on his other arm here, but again, I don't want to open his clothing. It's kind of a pain to dress these things up. See, you could see the hand and the arm, it's completely different in tone, so that sucks. But since it's their first 1-6 scale, I guess I could forgive them. Oh well. So with that being said, let's take a look at Tony in his alternate skull form. And here's Tony with his alternate head, and this is what sold me on the figure when I first saw it for pre-order. I don't know, something about this that I like. It's just something whimsical, something odd about it. So you can see it has a very like Tim Burton-esque Nightmare Before Christmas look. So yeah, <laughs> this is what I, I, this is why I pre-ordered it, because of this head sculpt really. Just has that, I don't know, that fun look. I like having fun figures. So yeah, with that being said, let's maybe find a place for Tony in my collection. Hopefully this space. And this is where Tony will live, in my little random 1-6 scale area here. This is usually the area where I dump all the random 1-6 scale figures I collect until I find a better suited area for them. So yeah, it's a pretty fun figure. It's a unique figure. I don't think I have any regrets getting him. I knew what I was going into when I pre-ordered him. And yeah, pretty happy with what he is and what he comes with and all that. Not a lot of gripes for this guy. So with that being said, thanks for watching. And as always, do 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 do. Yeah.